Welcome to Wonderland Sweden. My name's Rebecca and I create educational tools with the help of my Xtool P2 and Creative Space. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's begin. I'm just editing some sign language pictures in Swedish. So we've got K-A-I-N-O-A-B E L and it's a band I like that's singing Swedish. Anyway, what it is is that you can see that I've already edited some of them onto different layers. So as you can see that this is an engraved because it's solid. So I've put these all on the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the engrave so that it, the yellow engraves really lightly on the wood just so you can see it. So you can see I've engraved these. And as you can see, the slightly thicker lines are actually naturally engraved. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just changing them onto different layers, onto different, um, so then I can change them onto different colors. So it's visible and then I can differentiate between these. So the black is score and the, what will be orange is engraved. So to change the layer, I just normally click on it, left click with the mouse and right click and then move to and then choose the same colour. So I can see with the naked eye that these are all score lines because they're quite thin. Uh, it's not myself that's uh, drawn these pictures so I needed to edit them. So if we just click on all of these and holding the shift key quite tricky because sometimes you can't really see. You can see when it highlights to, to turquoise then it's ready to be selected but sometimes it's quite tricky you have to quick click quite, quite far away. So move to orange I can see now that, that I've missed one but I need to zoom in a little bit so I can make sure I've got it. Sometimes you you have to click outside of the object or around the object for it to recognize which one you're trying to click. So this one, let's have a look at that one, that's the score. So that one's all done. So the last one is the L. So that one looks like an engrave and that one too. This one, that one, that one. And there you go. So the orange I will do very, very, very hard. I will up the power quite a lot. Um, let's do the settings. So we, I always do pine plywood, obviously for pine plywood. Um, so if we ever click down here, so all of the orange will be selected. Let's just check it's all of them. Yeah. So you can see now it's mixed. So that means somewhere I have an orange line that is not engraved. And I think I can see something here that looks a bit iffy. Is that really orange? Oh, it says black. Hmm. We'll have to investigate. Let's click back on the orange. Can you see any lines that don't look like engrave? They look great. It's definitely in grief. Oh, there it is. That one, I don't actually need that line at all. It doesn't need to be a score or engrave. Okay, so now the orange should be all in grief. Yes, so it doesn't say mixed. So it, under here it said mixed when it was literally mixed uh, score and engrave. So now we have that. So I would maybe do like at least 20 power. I can do 20 power and then do the lines per centimeters up to 200 I normally do. So it'll come out really strong. This one, I really don't need it. 
that powerful. So maybe if we go down to 10 power. And then the score, we also want that really high power. And there's no obviously no lines per centimeter for the score. So we need to increase the power proportionally. And there we have it. So these pictures, you can actually export them as an SVG. Go to file and then export. So then I wouldn't need to re-edit these sign language signs again. So I wouldn't have to redo them again. So I could just import them as the new SVGs that I save, which is really helpful. Uh, one trick now for me, as you can see, for me to be able to edit them, they have to be ungrouped. So if we group each individual letter, so group is control and G. But I'll just highlight them just to show, make sure that we don't miss any. So control and G. Control and G. So, so now you can see they're all grouped because they highlight the, all of the objects when I run my mouse over it. So here we have all of them. So I'm going to do something with them. I don't know what, some sort of key ring. If we do, oh, did the wrong one, of course. <laughs> you tell I've not been designing for a long time. Uh, vertical line center and they're somewhat the same. Might not even want that actually, probably want the bottom. A line bottom. There you go, that looks better. So here we have all of my letters.